Retailers. This is a full paper solving of paper 2 of Cambridge International Mathematics 0607, component number 21. This is October number 2021, so the recent paper I'm solving it. Let's start solving the problem. So the first question is we have to round the value to the nearest 10,000. So 10,000 digit is here. So if I round the next digit is 7, it is more than 5. So I should add one value to the previous digit. So 4, 3, 4 will become 5 and 0, 0, 0, 0. So if you want, you can use the comma or you can even skip, not a problem. Next, we will go to the next question. Uh, the question is we have to round this number to the two significant figures. So the significant figure starts at here. So because these all are zeros, so non-zero digit starts at here and next is zero, but it is uh, after the non-zero digit. So we have to consider next digit is five, uh, less than five. So we don't want to add anything. We have to write the value as 0 0.0040. Because these are the two significant digits. These are the two significant digits that should be there. Uh, you might think that the last digit is 0. It has no value. So let us write this answer as 0 0.004. Actually, that is absolutely wrong. You should write it as 0 0.0040. Next is from the list, we have to select the prime number. We know that after 90, the only one prime number is 97. And a common multiple of 4 and 6, it is 96. And then draw all the lines of symmetry on each of these shapes. So this one is actually a kite. Kite has only one line of symmetry here. Uh, and this is a pentagon and regular pentagon. So it will have five line of symmetry. So from each vertex, I mean each diagonal, ensure that they are all passing through the same point. So yeah, the last one is here. Yes, we have finished it. Answer for the next subdivision. Next question is here. Actually, this is a bar chart. I have completed, and you can just have a look at it if you want. You can pause and then you can look at it. It's so simple. Let's go to the next question. So here we have to solve this equation. So first of all, we'll be expanding the bracket so that we'll be getting 8x minus 2 equals 6x plus 3. As usual, we'll move this 6x to the left side since 8x is the bigger or uh, coefficient side. So 8x minus 6x. So in the meantime, we'll move that minus 2 to the plus 3 side. So it's going to be 3 plus 2, 5. 8x minus 6x is 2x. If 2x is 5, then we know that x is 2.5. So we can write it or you can even write it as 5 by 2. Next one is, I have to write this number in the standard form. I know that it is going to be 5.86 into because uh, the 5 is the first non-zero digit and how many digits the point I'm moving 3 plus 2 5 so it is going to be 10 to the power negative 5 next division is the b subdivision it is 2 into 10 power a divided by 8 into 10 power b so if I simplify it is 2 and 8 I'm getting 0 0.2 it's at 16 4 5 8 quarter so it's 0 0.25 but they mentioned that the k should be after one so that must be 2.5 so what am I doing I'm just moving the point one digit right uh, then only uh, it is going to be in the standard form and it is going to be as per the condition of 1 less than equal to k less than 10. The next write an expression for n in terms of a and b. So here we can clearly see that this 2 if I simplify it, it is going to be 10 power a minus b. But along with that here we have actually adjusted a bit. One digit the point we have moved it so that we should subtract this by 1 also. Because if it's already 10 power 8 we will be writing that since we are moving into that side we will be writing this as 10 power 7. And it is already 10 power a minus b and uh, here it's only so that we have to write it as minus 1. That's what the value of n. So only we have to write n, the right side it is going to be just for n. So n is a minus b minus 1 is going to be the answer. Let us start solving the next question. It is finding the relative frequency of university. So for universities it is 112 divided by uh, total is 200. So we know that what is the relative frequency is. It is actually a probability. Probability is one number of chances by number of success. It is 112 by 200 or you can even write it as a decimal. That is not a problem. So 112 by 200 is the answer. Next is there are 1600 students in this school. Explain why this result. What is reasonable estimate of the probability that a student from the school will go to university. Why it is suitable? Because already we have taken that 200. It's a large sample. So whenever it is suitable and if this sample is large, so we can give this as a confident answer. So because of large sample. The next calculate an estimate for the number of students in this school who will go traveling. So for traveling, it is 18. So 18 out of 200 into total number of students is 1600 because the probability multiplied by the number will give that the number of favors. So we can simplify this easily by 8 and the 8 into 18 is going to be the answer. 8 is 64, 4 remaining. 6, 1, 8, 6, 6 plus 
144 students will go for the traveling. The next we have to solve the simultaneous equation. So let us write this first equation as the same. So 3x minus 2y equals 12 and uh, 5x. This can be multiplied by 2. So that 5 into 2x it is 10x. Uh, y into 2y it is plus 2y and 7 into 2 which is going to be 14. So now we can check that these two uh, they are I mean coefficients are same. So that when we are adding these two will get cancelled. We are adding it. So 10 plus 3 is 13x and 14 plus 12 is 26. So we are getting x equals to 2. We can write confidently x equal to 2. Then any one of the equation we can substitute better. We can go ahead with this. Uh, 5x is going to be 10. So 10 plus y equals to 7. Then we know y is going to be negative 3 because 7 minus 10 is negative 3. Uh, yeah, we cracked it. Next, y varies inversely as the square of x plus 2. So y equals to k divided by uh, square of x plus 2. So it is going to be x plus 2 the whole square. When x equals to 4, y equal to 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is equals to k divided by, this is actually 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 is square, 6 is square is we know 36. So 36 multiplied by 0 0.5 is the k value, we know that is 18. It is going to be 18 divided by x plus 2 the whole square. Why are you writing, why you did not find next solution? So because they are asking, find y in terms of x. Okay, let's go to the 10th question. Uh, okay, they gave a uh, um, triangle sector is given. They are asking to find out the shaded segment area. Shaded segment area is uh, area of sector minus area of uh, triangle. So area of sector is what? Theta, it is 30 divided by 360 into pi into r square, it is 36 minus. Uh, what is the area of this triangle? Half a b sine c, we know that very well. Half a value 6, b value is also 6 into sine 30 degree. So only if you know 30 degree value, I mean sine 30 degree, then you'll be able to simplify it. But here we can simplify this and we'll get 10 here. And if you simplify the 0, 0, we'll get 3. It is going to be 3 pi. I think we got answer for A. Let's see. Minus uh, here, yes, we can simplify it. 1, 2, so 2, 3, 2, so 6. So 3, 6 are 18. 18 into sine 30. Sine 30 values, we know that it is 1 by 2. It is going to be 3 pi minus 9. And then value of A and B, we got it A is 3 and B is uh, negative 9 or positive 9. Here also they gave that B value by minus B. So here also minus 9. So B is going to be plus 9. Let us start solving the 11th question. Here we have to find out the value of x square. So we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem. So it is uh, x square plus 2 root 3 whole square is equals to 5 plus root 3 whole square because that is the hypotenuse. So x square equals 5 plus root 3 the whole square minus 2 root 3 the whole square. Uh, we'll expand it. 5 plus root 3 whole square. If we expand, we'll get 5 square is 25. Root 3 square is 3. And the 2 5 is 10. 10 root 3 will be getting it. Minus uh, 2 square is 4. Uh, root 3 square is 3. So 4 3 is 12. 25 plus 3 is 28. 28 minus 12. Uh, it's 16, 16 plus 10, root 3, it will not have any change because it has no like terms to add it. So x square will remain as x square plus 10 root 3. So that's the format that they are asking it. Uh, we'll go to the next question. So we will minimize this. So first of all, they gave these lines. What are these lines? So y equal to 1 by 2x plus 1, y equal to 3x. So I can relate this is what y equal to 3x is. 3x plus 4y equal to 12. That is this one because it is intersecting both the positive uh, side of x and y axis. y equal to 1 by 2x plus 1 is here uh, because it is passing through 1. Okay, so now uh we have to write on the letter of the region which is defined by so we just have to find out which region it is denoting y is less than so for this it is down y less than or equal to 3x so for this also it is down uh, because it's towards origin if it's passing through origin it's still that x axis i will be taking it and 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 12 so for this also towards origin will be taking it if we are seeing so for this it's down for this also down for this also down so below this line, below this line, below this line, so that we have satisfying all of them. So, let me erase all this and read the answer, because I have to check one more time. So, answer for this region is F. Next is for uh, y equal to 1 by 2x, it's greater, so I'm just going upper side of this, upper hand. For this also, it's greater, so I'm just going upper side of this. Uh, for 3x plus 4y, it is downside. It's downside. So, upper side, 
so until this line are intersecting here then for this line also upper side so here and here so this region it's yes we got it easily this region c let's go to the next question uh, okay they gave the equation of the parabola uh, y equal to ax by minus bx minus 12 is given um, since the two intersecting points are given so we can take that equation of parabola as y equals a into x minus uh, b into x minus c like that we can give but here the points are 1 is minus 2 so it is going to be x plus 2 it is going to be and another one is x minus 3 so normally how we will write maybe we can write this as a into uh, x minus alpha into x minus beta so this is what the format will be writing the general format of the parabola uh, but here why am i writing this because i have just two intersecting point when I mean, two solutions are intersecting point of x-axis so that i have written i have replaced it directly then if i'm expanding them i'm getting x squared minus x minus six and if i expand it i'm just getting a x square uh, minus a x minus six a but if i compare with the given format or they gave that y intercept is negative 12 so the 6a must be negative 12 which means i should substitute a as 2 so see here 6a must be uh, 12 so it is it should have a should have only the possibility of 2 then only 6 to 12 it is going to be so that i will be writing the rewritten i mean the form of parabola is it is 2x square minus 2x because a value is 2 minus 6 to 12 so now we can compare 12 and 12 both are same and 2x square and minus 2x are replacing ax square plus bx um, that's it actually it is very easy if you are uh, given that x intersecting points x intercepts then you just take this format and expand it it's going to be very easy so a value is 2 b value is negative 2 you have to keep it in mind because there they give positive b and here it is negative 2 so we should write it as b is negative 2 and the next question we have to solve this logarithm uh, log x base 3 equal to 4 so none of none of the things are given we don't have log on the right side so we can't cancel just convert this log format to the normal form so it is 3 power 4 equals to x so this base power the side side value is so just keep this in your mind base power rhs is this power so 3 power 4 equals to x 3 power 4 we know that it is 81 so x value must be 81 next one is yeah we are going to simplify it so we can write this as log x square coefficient as power here if i write coefficient as power i will be getting log 2 power 3 i will be getting log 8 uh, that is equals to i have directly written 2 power 3 as 8 and uh, log 15 since the right hand side also i have log i can take log as common and i can cancel so log uh, a minus b is a by b so x square divided by 8 is equals to log 50. both the side i can remove that log so i will be getting x square uh, equals to 8 into 50 it is 400 and x must be square root of 400 it is 20 keep that in your mind negative 20 also you can do here we should perform only x equals to positive 20 because it is log a log of negative number is not possible you just have to keep it in your mind so you should not give uh, plus or minus 20 so only plus 20 is answer uh, that is but uh, x square gives 400 x square equal to 400 gives uh, two answers for x that is plus 20 and minus 20 you should choose the answer else you will lose the mark here uh, because negative uh, for log it is not okay um, let's go to the next question so yeah it's over I think it's easy people let's expect the same in the math series too uh, all the best yes uh, subscribe my channel and comment if you have any other doubts thank you for watching